your bond play is just kind of a short term for the crash. Oh, it's short, totally short term. Uh, and, and, and again, the problem is most people are recommending gold. I'm like, look at 2008. Gold kind of held up early and look at, oh, in the worst, in the you know, third and fourth quarters, gold went down 40, 45%. Not the worst place to be in a, the first fight, but it was not the safe haven. The treasury bonds went up the opposite, 40, 45%. Right. That's the, I, I'm glad I asked you because I was, I, you know, I don't have any bonds. So I was just, you know, I, I look at an apartment house as a bond, if you know what I mean. It is. is a, yeah, it's a yeah. high yield investment. I, yeah. I agree with you. And, and yeah. a safe, again, people are only going to trade down to multifamily, yeah. not up to expensive yeah. houses that are overvalued. So no, that you're in the, that's, that's the defensive part of the real estate market. I'm saying the highest quality government bonds, particularly right. U.S. treasuries, is the best defense in a crash. That's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. 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 Uh, distinctions that we, we don't have. I got one more question though. When interest yeah. rates were coming down, the price of bonds were going up or something like that? When there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that? Because if you locked in a, like, say, a 5% 30-year Treasury bond and yields now move down to 2% because of lower inflation, oh, who's worth more, your 5% 30-year Treasury bond or the new 2%? Your 30-year is worth a lot more now. So okay. bonds appreciate when inflation comes down, especially long, the highest quality long-term. Now, a junk bond will not act the same. It'll say, oh, inflation's coming down, but default risk is going up and I'm a junk bond, so I got higher default risk. So that's the difference. In a crash like this, a deflationary crash, it is the highest quality US government or AAA corporate bonds, which are the best. And between those two, why would I choose a AAA corporate when I can get a, a 30 year treasury bond, which they will not default on, even if they have to print money. <laughs> Going back in history, wasn't Ivan Bosky, wasn't he the junk bond king or something like that, or one of those characters? I, I'm not I, I'm not an expert in Ivan Bosky. Yeah. I don't you know, remember his name. But, but, you know, I mean, it is interesting to study other places that have had, you know, inflation and crashes. I mean, I keep seeing people say this is going to turn into hyperinflation. No, it's not going to take much more inflation. It's already crimping our economy and bonds and stuff. And that's already going to lead to a downturn. I'm telling you. When we see this downturn, I think we're already into it. It's already yeah. starting now. Inflation will disappear at 9.1% or 10% of it gets the height and never appear in the rest of our lifetime. That's a forecast. Wow. You never see inflation above a few percent for the rest of all of our lifetimes, even if you're 20 years old today. That's my forecast. Because inflation was the major baby boom entering a great expense, and that caused a huge inflation. And you know what follows huge inflation? The disinflation and the boom that follows from that generation that caused it, and blah, 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 blah. We're not going to ever worry about inflation in the developed world again. Hey, maybe Zimbabwe, maybe Africa, but we will never, inflation, high inflation will never be a topic after that's, we that's watch That's fantastic insight. Prediction. <clears throat> fantastic I got to stand by that after I die. <laughs> so I have to, I got to ask you about Bitcoin. Where, what's your what's your take on Bitcoin? Long term, short term? Okay, very simple. Also, I compare the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's just like the Amazon of it. Okay, of the the new um, dot com retailers that were the the rave of the and they they were the rave only the last part of the '90s bubble um, and were the epitome of it. Amazon led that bubble and crashed ninety five percent. Wow. wow. Before it then went from 136 to six and then to 3,500, 3, the next boom. Good. That's how I see crypto. It's the next big thing. Uh, I didn't get it myself, Robert and Kim, until at my own conference, a guy was speaking. He said he defined crypto as, as the, the digitization of all financial assets and money. I'm like, what's bigger than GDP six, seven times all the financial assets in the world? And I'm like, oh, this is a big deal. It's the next big thing. So what happens, the, the dot coms and Amazon is the, is the epitome, bubbled in the late 90s and that bubble crashed 95, 96%. People thought they were dead forever. And then of course had the greatest boom in history. I see Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and there's 40,000 coins. Think of coins as an IPO with no cost, okay? That's the, it's a very 
we, we lost Harry's connection. Kim and I are still here, but his, his information is priceless. Like I said, I respect his demography. He's, um, he's very, very accurate in his predictions. So anything Harry Dent writes about, talks about, I understand. And I just never understood bonds because I don't have any paper assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. And the only stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs are the ones we make ourselves because we're entrepreneurs. We don't need some, we don't need to buy somebody else's. Any comments, Kim? Well, I, no, I think it's very interesting, especially what he was saying about bonds and, and the, the big aha for me is like, because I never understood why would you be in a 30 year investment that's paying, you know, one or 2%. And then he said, no, it's, it's your, it's your hedge against the crash. When the Correct. crash came, that's where you want to store your wealth or store your money. And then when, as it eases up, then you get out of that and you invest in other things. So of course I like what he says about multifamily housing, because that's what we're experiencing right now. Rents are going through the roof in, in where we, where we have our properties. Um, so I thought it's good. I, I wanted to hear a little bit more about Bitcoin. I know he also has uh Harry also talks a lot about gold and he sees a big a downturn in gold and then an up an upturn. Um, so I, I just I love the demographics because it's based on facts. It's not based on opinion. It's not based on some who to do theory. It's based on the demographic facts. So that's why I appreciate Harry and his and his input. His his a brilliant, 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 brilliant researcher. Anyway, um, <clears throat> one more thing about booms and busts. What Harry's saying about the 30 year is basically you're getting ready to pick up more product when, what, whenever it is. So it's the same as us. We don't buy real estate when it's high. We buy it when it's low. And so that's what Harry doesn't say is that gold is coming down is about 1700. Well, you and I have been buying it since it was 50. Right. And then in 2000, it was 300. So when you look at the macro with a longer term on it, so while Amazon was coming down, gold was also coming down. So you and I had backed up the truck on gold. And today it's worth 1700 if it goes to 2000 good. The point here is that it's when you buy, not when you sell. And the reason I think a lot of real estate guys are gonna get crushed are the flippers because they still expect the price of real estate to go up. So they're flipping the family home or they're taking out second mortgages on their home because the so-called value of the property went up. But real estate is also supply and demand. Yes. You know, there's a huge, so, so there's a shortfall of real estate in America. Demand is going up. So that's why residential is good as incomes come down. I mean, apartment houses are great because people are backing into apartment houses. Yeah. And, so and, and you also have to look at some of the factors um, because we've just experienced this on, a, on, on one property, um, supply and demand of supplies. So if some people are out there building right. and now they're getting caught because the supplies have gone up so much in costs, right. plus interest rates have gone up in, in so much in cost. So you really need to look at so many different factors when you're right. looking at, at buying real estate and what you're going to do with it. Right. And that's called timing. Are you, in the, are, are you watching the ups and downs of markets right there? 